Hello, today we will learn how to calculate duration between any two dates, uh, whatever the date formats, whether you write year at the start, day at the start, or the international American style, month, day, and the year at the end. So uh, I'll give you rules and examples. The first rule is you have to always subtract relatively older date from relatively newer date. Okay, that's how the subtraction should be set up. I'll give you an example. Suppose you are given two dates, 20th December 2000 and 31st December 2000. Now, because 31st December 2000 is comparatively relatively is newer date as compared to the 20th December the other date that you are given with. so uh, you have to keep 31st December 2000 above and 20th December 2000 below that's how you should set up your subtraction and for the subtraction process we have rule number two order of subtraction and the order of subtraction is you always start subtraction from the day then subtract month and at the end subtract year that is you know subtract older day month year from newer day month year the result will be the day month year of duration in this example that we have we'll have to start from the day part of the date newer date minus older dates day 31 minus 20 equals 11 now the month part 12 minus 12 0 and the year part 2000 minus 2000 equals 0 so duration is only 11 days between 20th December 2000 and 31st December 2000 the duration is 11 days I'll give you even more examples for example you are provided with 20th November 2000 and 31st December 2000 now what is the duration between these two dates again you have to keep the relatively newer date above and relatively older date below and start from the day part so 31 minus 20 11 and 12 minus 11 1 and at the end year 2000 minus 2000 so duration is one month and 11 days let's come to the rule number three borrowing sometimes during subtraction as we know you have to borrow because when the number or the digit that we are trying to subtract from some other number or digit sometimes that's bigger than that then you know we do the borrowing from the uh, adjacent number in this duration calculation if the older dates day is bigger than the newer dates day then you have to borrow the days of the completed month to complete the day subtraction and after borrowing is done the newer dates month shall be counted as one less as per the you know a basic rule of borrowing in subtraction similarly for month in case of older dates month being bigger than the newer dates month then 12 months will be borrowed from the newer dates year and after borrowing is done newer dates year will be counted as one less as per the you know again basic rule of borrowing in subtraction suppose the two dates that you're asked to calculate the duration between are let's say 21st October 2000 and 20th December 2000 now starting from the day part 21 is bigger than 20 so what do we do now we will have to borrow days of completed month from the newer date the newer dates month is 12 that isn't complete yet you know it's 20th December December isn't complete yet so which month is completed actually the November the previous month the last month 12 minus 1 11 okay we have to borrow the number of days of the completed month which is November so 30 days are borrowed from 11 month and uh, together the now the new dates days will become 30 plus 20 50 so 50 minus 21 29 now because we have borrowed from the month so month is no more 12 month will be now 11 so 11 minus 10 1 and you know because we didn't touch the year part so 2000 minus 2000 equals 0 so the duration between 21st October 2000 and 20th December 2000 is one month and 29 days I'll give you another example suppose you are asked to calculate the duration between 29th October 1999 and 20th February 2000 now we cannot subtract 29 from 20 what we have to do now we'll have to borrow months of the completed month from the new date the new dates current month is Fab, but the completed month is January so we will have to take 31 days as borrowed days so 31 plus the 20 51 so 51 minus 29 22 and because we have borrowed month now in the month part we have not two but one so again we cannot subtract older dates 10th month from one we will have to borrow from the year part okay we will take 
12 because we know a year has 12 months so we will take 12 months as borrowed months 12 plus 1 equals 13 13 minus 10 equals 3 so duration between 29th october the year 1999 and 20th february 2000 is 3 months and 22 days i'll give you another example suppose you are given 29th march 1999 and the other date as 20th march 2000 and you are asked to calculate the duration between these two dates what do you have to do is again keep the newer date above older date below starting from the day end we cannot subtract 29 from 20 what do we have to do now we'll have to borrow days from newer dates month completed month which is fab second month with february we know so usually it has 28 days but in leap years leap years are the ones which are completely divisible by four because 2000 year was a leap year because it's completely divisible by four so february of the year 2000 had 29 days okay so we'll have to borrow 29 days of the completed month so 29 after borrowing the uh, newer dates dates will become 29 plus 20 49 so now we can easily subtract 29 from 49 so 29 after subtracting it from 49 we get 20 coming to the month's part because we have borrowed one month so newer dates month is no more three it's two now again we cannot subtract older dates month three from newer dates month after borrowing two so we'll have to borrow months from the year where which are 12 so 12 plus 2 14 14 minus 3 11 because we borrowed one year so the new dates year is no more 2000 it's one less which is 1999 so 1999 minus 1999 equals zero so that's why the duration our duration would become 11 months and 20 days next example and this is the last example suppose you are asked to calculate duration between 19th march 2007 and 9th january 2019 now starting from the day we cannot uh, subtract 19 from 9 we have to borrow days from the completed month now in the newer date we got one the january what's the previous month which got completed you know it's december of the previous 2018 so we'll have to take if the month is one like in this example we'll have to take the days of december the previous completed month which are we know 31 days so 31 plus 9 40 now we can easily subtract older dates 19 from 40 so 40 minus 19 equals 29 and because we borrowed one month newer dates month is no more one it's zero here okay now we'll have to borrow 12 months okay from the year part one year we actually will have to borrow one year which has 12 months so 12 minus 3 equals 9 because we borrowed one year so newer dates year is no more 2019 it's 2018 so 2018 minus 17 or two, sorry 2018 minus 2007 the difference is 11 because 18 minus 7 11 the duration between 19th march 2007 and 9th january 2019 is 11 years 9 months and 21 days okay now before we end let me provide you a challenge okay so that i should know that you have learned it okay the challenge is you have to calculate the duration between 22nd october 1982 and 1st january 2020 okay calculate the duration and write the answer in comment below hope you like my video and for more learning videos subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new video thank you thanks for watching